I'm Michaela Bensley. I'm the Chief Executive of the SACE Board, and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you to come and celebrate the achievement of our highest achieving students of 2022. I'd like to acknowledge that we meet on the land of the Ghana people and that their relationship with the land is important today as it ever will be and always was and always will be. We also recognise that the Aboriginal people are the first educators in the country we now all live in and share. And we offer our respect, not just through our work, but through our deeds, with a commitment to work in allyship with Aboriginal people who are the cultural authority of their education practice. I also want to recognise the Aboriginal elders past, present, and hope we can play some small role in developing the leaders of the future. I'd also like to recognise Her Excellency, the Honourable Frances Adamson, for allowing us to have this great event on her grounds. It's the 35 uh, year of this merit ceremony here, and um, there'll be time for you to explore the grounds when you take photos with your children after, after the event. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just start with a few housekeeping items. In the event that we need to evacuate, uh, just calmly follow the um, emergency wardens and they'll show us out. The toilets, should you need them, are just out to your left. There'll be opportunities to take photos after the event. There are some designated spots after, but also we'll have a formal photographer who'll take a photo for every student and how to access those photos is in the front cover of your booklet. Also, the event is being uh, recorded, and we'll put that on our website uh, next week. But distinguished guests, family, friends, and most importantly, the highest achieving students of 2022, welcome to the SACE Merit Ceremony. This year, we're conducting six sessions across two days to celebrate 1,008 students who, through their hard work, Persistence, resilience, and determination have been able to achieve over 1,245 merits across our subjects. This is an extraordinary effort, particularly when you consider that this cohort of students have experienced their entire SACE with the um, challenges of COVID. Everything from lockdowns to remote learning to hybrid ways of learning to social events being cancelled from camping to sport to maybe formals, to then having different types of events and socials. So recognising that that's had a huge impact around some of your joy and some of the fun things that happen at school. So within that, your persistence to be able to meet all of those challenges and to be able to achieve at the very highest is something that you should be really proud of and I um, find it really amazing. I'm inspired by your efforts. So it's an extraordinary effort. Your support happens with your teachers and your parents. Success doesn't happen alone. And the people in this room, I recognise that you've been a huge factor in the success that your um, young people have been able to achieve. So despite what was happening around you, you've been able to not only finish the SACE, but also achieve at the highest level through your subjects. But with the completion of the SACE, you've been able to open up your future to a whole range of possibilities. And I look forward to having conversations with you afterwards around what the future holds for you. So I want you to take a moment today to take a pause and to really reflect on what you've been able to achieve. And when things get a bit tricky and challenging, reflect back to this time and what you've been able to achieve over the last three years, and particularly through your senior secondary schooling. You've done an amazing, amazing work, an amazing effort with all of those challenges. So well done, you've finished high school, a big milestone is done, and it's really exciting around the possibilities that you have for your future going forward. So if you'd like to uh, congratulate the class of 2022 and the highest on my behalf. I'd like to now introduce Ben Heathcote, who's one of our managers and faculty managers in English and Languages. He'll introduce our guest speaker, who'll present the merit certificates to our students. Thank you again. Thank you, Michaela. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I'm really delighted to be here with you to celebrate the extraordinary achievements of our SACE merits uh, recipients. Um, for each ceremony, we invite a guest speaker to address our merit students. It is my great pleasure and honour to introduce Elizabeth Close. Elizabeth is from the Pitjantjara and Yankunjara language groups, whose family links are to the communities in the APY lands. Her arts practices have evolved from canvas beginnings to now include large-scale public art and digital design. 
Throughout Elizabeth's life journey, and particularly her development as an artist, her connection with her grandmother was particularly influential in her discovery and pursuit of the powerful conduit between art and culture. Elizabeth's work is a unique and distinct fusion of contemporary and traditional Aboriginal art, using vivid warmth to convey the landscape of the APY lands, while also drawing upon socio-political themes of identity, forced removal policies, loss of culture, and intergenerational trauma. Um, at the SACE board, we're also very fortunate as we have uh, Elizabeth's amazing work adorning our offices and a central piece in our hub area that really provides a message around the student journey and supporting everyone to thrive. Please join me in welcoming Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Before I begin, I too would like to acknowledge that we gather here today on unceded Ghana country and to remind you all that wherever you stand, you stand on the sovereign nation of those whose connection to that land stretches back to time immemorial. <sighs> Congratulations, guys. In 1998, I failed visual arts. I was in year eight. I had a lot going on in my life, but I guess I thought it was maybe the one thing I was good at. I didn't do visual arts at school after that. In 1999, I left a challenging and abusive home. I was 13. I couch surfed. I moved in with my sister for a bit. I spent nights in winter keeping warm under the hand dryers in public toilets in the city. I slept rough. I eventually returned home because the threat of the foster care system was looming over me and home seemed vaguely better. At some point around the year 2000, and I think through the guidance of some excellent educators who saw something in me, I realised that the way out of my situation was through education, and I know that sounds completely trite and it's been trod out before, but that's the way that I could see out. I, I needed to pull myself up. I was going to be a doctor. I was steadfast. In 2003, I sat here, like you, and I came up and I accepted my merit certificate from the formidable Anangu warrior that is Dr. Loija O'Donoghue after receiving an ATAR, although it was actually, I'm showing my age here, it was TER back then, of 96.7. Unfortunately, they had this minor little setback, this thing called the UMAT, some of you might know about it. Yeah. So I did a Bachelor of Nursing instead, and I spent every year after that trying to get into postgraduate medicine. And the day I finally got that acceptance letter to the School of Medicine at Flinders University, I found out I was pregnant. You can laugh, it's okay, I did. Well, I cried, then I laughed. My name is Elizabeth Yanyi Close. I'm a Pichinjara and Yankunjara woman, and now I'm a career creative. I'm a full-time, contemporary, multidisciplinary visual artist. I have my work all over the world. My work is in the collection of the National Gallery of Australia in Canberra. Later this year, it will feature in the Art Gallery of South Australia as part of Tarnady, the annual festival celebrating the work of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists and, art and arts. And I don't think I'd change a thing about my journey. And I think that's what I've come to realise about my journey. When I really think about it, is that no journey is linear. No journey. I sat where you sit right now, 20 years ago, with a plan, a concrete one. I wanted to be a doctor. No, no, actually, I, I didn't want to be a doctor. I was going to be a doctor. I worked as a senior registered nurse for close to a decade in a busy emergency department that had no issues with ramping at all. Nah, actually, I shouldn't say that. They're trying. We're trying our best. 
Anyway, so I was, I was working as a, as a registered nurse in a, in a very, very, very busy emergency department. I was raising my children, working part-time, but there was always a part of me that felt close to going off the rails. And I guess that happened when I lost my, my grandmother. She was the strongest link I had to my culture. So I did, I went off the rails in my 20s, my early 20s, hard. And it was art that helped me pick myself back up. And so I found it really cathartic to start painting and to start doing things that she and I shared together. She was a, a very gifted painter and drawer. She was also a very gifted seamstress. I didn't, I, I didn't pick that up because I once hemmed my pants with a staple gun. So, yeah. <laughs> You know, you get what you get. So I organically built a visual arts practice from the ground up. I returned to country to reconnect with my Anunga family. I learned my language and I immersed two of my children in it. I've got three. I didn't leave one at home. I'd only had two at that point. I didn't like leave, yeah, leave one. At, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So I immersed my children in culture and language and what I found is that going home to country was transformational for my arts practice. I returned to Adelaide with a renewed passion and zeal for increasing the visibility of Aboriginal art and culture in the public space and a new energy for my studio practice as well. So instead of finishing my medical degree or continuing nursing, I was sent to France to paint a six-storey mural by the Australian government to celebrate the relationship between France and Australia. That's a bit awkward now. Yeah, they've probably painted over that mural. Thanks, ScoMo. But look, I do reflect back on that teacher that I had in year eight, that art teacher that failed me. Admittedly, though, and like, let's, let's be real. Admittedly, it was almost Definitely lack of effort as opposed to lack of talent. Who really knows? All I know is it's a hell of an opening line to be like, I'm a professional artist, I failed art. But in all seriousness, to all of you here today, students, families, educators, caregivers, congratulations. You've all worked so incredibly hard. But this is the beginning. Your learning outside of the context in which you've come to know it begins today. My point here today is simple. Don't be tied to the linear. Your journey is your journey. It doesn't matter how much it undulates. It happens how it happens. And however it happens, it's legitimate and it's yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your powerful words, Elizabeth. We will now begin the presentation to the recipients of subject merits. I ask that you reserve your applause until all students have been introduced. Uh, Savitha Lamawaya, Mathematical Met Methods. Annabelle Lang, General Mathemath Mathematics. Ava Lang, Physical Education. Juliana Lanzilli, Workplace Practices. Christian Langira, Digital Technologies and Modern History. Salvatore Lorito, Practical Connections. Sophie Laycock, Research Project B.
Bin Cook Than Lee, Research Project B. Portia Lee, Activating Identities and Futures. Eva Leithart, Physical Education. Jessica Lemire, Spiritualities, Religion and Meaning. Samuel Lesky, Material Solutions. Luca Levac, Research Project B. Isabel Leviton, Digital Technologies. Arabella Lewis, Research Project B and Society and Culture. Rose Lewis, Visual Arts, Art. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Liascos, Research Project B. Riley Leanert, Research Project A. Uh, James Liu, Specialist Mathematics. Mia Livingston Pierce, Psychology. Michaela Lockwood, Material Solutions. Lauren Lagozo, Music Performance Ensemble. Nicholas Long, Integrated Learning A. Adina Lopez, music performance, solo. Sophie Lorraine, nutrition. Andy Liu, Vietnamese continuers. Emma Lucas, Research Project B. Alec Lukzak, Research Project B. Emanuela Lukak, Essential English. Dennis Lule, Physics, Research Project B. Sunny Lee, English Literary Studies. Harrison Lynch, Research Project B. Guy McCrow, Digital Communication Solutions.
Zoe Megan Upshaw, Research Project B. Kalavani Malalingam, Research Project B. Sujan Mathansata, Chemistry, Mathematical Methods. Kim Mayi, English, Legal Studies. Alessia Mayo, Research Project B. Jaden Maiolo, Digital Technologies. Pranor Mali, Research Project B. Chrysanthi Maltelzos, Child Studies. Annabelle Manifold, English and General Mathematics. Gabriella Manifold, Mathematical Methods. Oliver Manning, Mathematical Methods. Dylan Marsh, Research Project B. Sherilyn Marshall, Material Solutions. Harriet Marshman, Geography. Lauren Marsland, English and General Mathematics. Alicia Martin, Food and Hospitality. David Martin, Industry and Entrepreneurial Solutions. Chloe McAdams, General Mathematics. Annabelle McConnell, General Mathematics. Portia McDade, Outdoor Education. Jack McDonald, Music Performance, Solo. Thomas McDonald, Research Project B. Leah McDonald, Research Project B. Imogen McDonough, Research Project B. Sophia McGough, Nutrition. Thomas McGuire, Integrated Learning A. Samuel McGuinness, English Literary Studies. Arabella McIntosh, Research Project B.
Victoria McKay, English. Annabelle McKean, Activating Identities and Futures. Charlotte McKenzie, dance. Jack McKenzie, chemistry. Paige McLaughlin, food and hospitality. <laughs> Aaliyah McLean, Activating Identities and Futures. Caroline McNally, Research Project B. Lila McRow, Biology. Olivia Medhurst, Biology. Angelina Melke, Workplace Practices. Ethan Menangi, Outdoor Education. William Mensel, Legal Study, Spirituality, Religion and Meaning. Joshua Manillo, English. Imka Mentz, Chemistry. Celeste Mayo, General Mathematics. Lewis Merrigan, Material Solutions and Research Project B. Vasilis Michalakis, Economics, Robotic and Electronic Systems. Edward Micken, Mathematical Methods. Chloe Mickle, Workplace Practices. Kyle Miller, Physics. Eliza Milsom, Research Project B. Alice Min, English and Mathematical Methods. Sadie Minshall, Psychology. Ella Mitlin, act, act, Activating Identities and Futures. Lucia Mitrick, Biology and Chemistry. Elizabeth Mould, activi Activating Identities and Futures. Yes. 
Sienna Moreau, Chemistry and Physics. Hmm. Lachlan Morrissey, Research Project B. Ellie Morrissey, General Mathematics, Research Project B. Elke Mosby-Reed, General Mathematics. Henry Moseley, Modern History. Uh, Charlotte Muffet, English. Devika Maherji, Act Dividing Identities and Futures, Legal Studies. Gemma Murdoch, Research Project B. Daniel Murray, Visual Arts Design. Zaid Musa, Health and Wellbeing. Hugh Mossolino, English. Vida Muthieni, Biology Research Project B. Amy Mekatishan, Research Project B. Alicia Nair, English. Yasmin Nairn, Physical Education. Garika Nair, Research Project B. Daniel Nedomansky, Research Project Base and Specialist Mathematics. Mahalat Nagash, Legal Studies. Georgia Nelson, Information Processing and Publishing. Jake Nesbitt, General Mathematics. Emma Newhouse, Research Project B. Charlotte Newman, Biology. Wayne Ng, Research Project B. An Kiet Nguyen, Essential Mathematics and Physics. Eric Nguyen, Research Project B. Joshua Nguyen, Biology.
Tracy Newen, Research Project B. Lily Nichols, Research Project B. Adrian Nicolescu, Religion Studies. Iris Nissen, Activating Identities and Futures and Creative Arts. Edward Nitschke, Research Project B. Harmony Nitschke, Business Innovation and Visual Arts Design. Genevieve Nixon, General Mathematics and Psychology. Jake Noble, Biology. Danielle Nowot, Activating Identities and Futures. Ujawal Notra, Research Project B. Austin Nick, General Mathematics. Mitchell Obst, Research Project B. Adele O'Day, Religion Studies. Georgina O'Day, Activating Identities and Futures and English. Riley O'Shaughnessy, Psychology. Austin O.R.D. Chemistry. Lacey Khan, Psychology. And Zoe Lin, Research Project B. Could you please join me in welcoming all the wonderful students that received their merits today? Uh, could you please also thank, join me in thanking the amazing guest speaker, Elizabeth Close? So this concludes the official proceedings. Uh, on behalf of the SAFE Board of South Australia, thank you for attending this special celebration with us today. As you exit, please enjoy the grounds of Government House. Feel free to take photographs to capture the moment. Congratulations once again to all the young people who have achieved excellence in SAFE. Thank you for attending and enjoy the rest of your day.